Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Super Mario Galaxy. Last video we got the second Power Star in the Verde Galaxy. But in this video we're gonna be going to a different galaxy altogether. Which Mario you cannot push that column. <laughs> we go back to the terrace. Well hello there, Polari. And now we're gonna be going to the Honey Hive Galaxy, which just wanted to show off the other galaxies here, but we're actually gonna go here and the first power star here, I think is actually pretty fun to get. And of course that six uh, things all together here make it and This one is B Mario Takes Place. And I really hope I don't say of course a billion times like I did this in the last like I did in the last video. Because trust me, that irritated me more than it would irritate anybody that I watched. <laughs> Yes! Right off the bat, you want to go off to uh, at least behind your starting point here. We're going to go with a sign here. Press the directional bad to look around and see the sa sight. If you can't, you hear a buzz. Make sure you be careful getting this one up here, or else you will fly off the galaxy altogether, which I'm sure you don't want that. <laughs> And that sign was there for a reason, because without it, you probably wouldn't even realize you could even get the rest of those powers, uh, those star bits right there. Why do I want to keep calling them power stars? Welcome to Honey Hive Kingdom. Our queen rules this world. We'll actually get to see the queen later on in this video. Let's go behind here. One thing about this game and Mario Galaxy 2 is that it certainly play, uh, pays the floor. There's actually a trio of piranha plants I want to get rid of up here. Now it's time to go down this pipe. And we get to this bonus room that doesn't really look much of a bonus room at first with all these boulders uh, rolling around. But you can see there, there's a big question blo uh, coin right there, which you'll see why, what it does here in a few seconds. Just be careful you don't get hit by the, by the boulders. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mario Galaxy Star Man, or Invisible Star, Invisible Star or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it pretty much breaks through everything, and I really should have done a better job getting as many star bits as I could here, which, if you're playing this for real, it is a good idea just to just stop very briefly to get as many star bits, uh, star bits as you can, but now we go down here, there's another question coin, and this one unlocks the bee mushroom, which is one of several power-ups you could see throughout this game. Of course, there's one power-up in this game that's considered one of the worst in any Mario game in existence. <laughs> Which I'm not really looking forward to showing that one off, but... No, you can probably see that swing over there. We'll actually be using that here as soon as I get these star bits right here. Whenever you see those rocks in a circle uh, formation, just make sure that you just spin and, and they'll pop up. Of course, it would help if I was on the, the right side. I was kind of on the backwards, but... On my own time, I like to actually get more star bits by breaking the borders, by spin attacking the red spots on them. But, you can only do that, I think, a maximum of three times, and no matter how many times you break them afterwards, you will not get any star bits whatsoever, so... Like I usually say, you can do that pretty much on your own time or at your own risk. Now, with the Bee Mushroom, you turn into Bee Mario, and as you can see with the gauge, you only have a certain amount of flight time before you end up dropping down automatically. And I do have to say the flight meter ends up going down pretty fast, so make sure that you use this power up wisely whenever you can. God, I hate these bug enemies. 
Go away. No, there is a one up behind this tree stump right uh, right here, but I completely forgot about it. Just take the tree stump down. And in case you lost the bee, uh, mushroom before, there's another one. And here's another part where we'll get to use this costume. Now, with Bee Mario, you can actually land on these flowers, but if you don't have Bee Mario, you'll just fall right through them. But you have a bee mushroom that you can get right beforehand, so I think it would be pretty impossible to get uh, it not be bee Mario by the time you get to those flowers. And even though you're a bee Mario, you can have a hard time getting through that honey yet, so... And see, it's just as bad or even worse as regular Mario. Now, these pink Octumas can be a bit of a problem in this area. My advice here is just simply ignore them. There's really no need to mess with them because we got we got other things we gotta do here. Just get rid of you. Just get rid of you. I actually have a tiny figurine of B Mario. See, I actually have a small collection of Super Mario figurines, and this one uh, was one of them. I actually got this one and the String Mushroom Mario a on Amazon. Grab a flower stem and shake the weed remote. Yeah, I actually got quite a good collection of uh, mini figurines. As a matter of fact, I have them on the stand right beside my bed. Now, an, an important thing to remember about B, B Mario is make sure you do not get him wet or else he will transform back into regular Mario. Even with these fountains right here. Oh, and make sure that whenever you land as B Mario, wait, make sure you wait until the flight meter gets completely green again before you start flying again. One of the perks of being a bee is that we can stick to this honey wall. Nice! Just gonna hit this plant. There's actually a bit of a secret area here. It really isn't all that big of a secret, but... Just got another bee mushroom. No, you probably could get all those coins, but I just really didn't feel like it. I wasn't really confident of my abilities there, so... I just went ahead and skipped it. This part can be a little bit weird and disorienting, just simply because of um, making sure you land on the honeycombs, but this part really shouldn't be all that hard. It's actually a pretty neat gimmick right here. That actually gives B Mario a um, bit of practical use. Which I completely forgot to check out the right hand side, which you probably see that big uh, question mark coin right over here. And this just gives you coins, which. I'm not sure if it's necessary if to collect all of the coins, but. Well, at least right here, I just collected as many as I could, you know. I, I really don't think that you get any bonus to collect them all. Unless you really, really hurt up the coin. And who might you be? A physician, we presume? No matter. We are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. Okay, um, your highness. And this is the bee queen. So, oh, of course I lose my bee mushroom right here. I did want to go through this entire thing without losing it at all, but the good thing is that there is another bee mushroom nearby, which you can always get in case you lose it by falling in the water or getting hit by the fountain. But I always found this last part of the level kind of weird. As you can see here, the five there's a, a five star pieces 
buried inside the uh, queen bee's fur. Which, once we're done violating the <laughs> My thanks! You have shown much bravery, newbie! We trust, we trust that we may rely on you in the future! Oh yeah, that, I just find that kind of odd. Actually, I find that very odd. I can imagine anybody that's afraid of bees, that part would kind of freak them out a little bit, being on a gigantic bee like that. <laughs> we just gotta land here. And you get to see Captain Toad and his crew, I guess. Ah, a bee! What? Mario? Hey, it's you! We escaped from Pe Peach's castle, too. But then we thought Bowser would get us, and we got lost with Luigi. Oh, that's great. Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need this, so here, take it. Oh, I can just imagine Captain Toad's adventures with Luigi. <laughs> And as we get the power star here, unfortunately, we cannot take the bee, uh, mushroom with us, unfortunately. So we can't be bee Mario outside of that area. Unless we go to another area where there is a bee mushroom, but... Anyways, that is the first power star of the Honey Hive Galaxy. And in the next video, I think I'm gonna show off... I know there's five other power stars in the Honey Hive Galaxy. But I think I'm going to be showing off a new uh, galaxy in the next video, so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.